this is a really exciting opportunity to get hold of some fantastic products, uh, events, vouchers, experiences, all really generously donated to the GBC Open Day by local businesses right across the rock. And you might think to yourself, there's probably nothing there for me. I don't think there's anything I will need or I will want, but you'll be surprised. It's such a massive range of items at a much discounted price. So either to snap up for yourself or even better as a gift for somebody else with Christmas just around the corner. So can you give us a sneaky peek of what we can expect? Oh, we had a look earlier and there's some hampers in there. There's some great gift ideas. Like Lucinda said, it might not necessarily just be for yourself. It is Christmas season, so you can get yourself a bargain and get somebody a wonderful present. We're not talking about cheap stuff here. It's really, really good, solid stuff that you can expect, uh, that you have expected over the last few years at the, um, at the auction. And what's great is it's kind of like shopping at home. Uh, you don't leave your sofa. You watch the TV. You see an item on TV and you really like it. All you have to do is call call that number you're going to be hearing it a lot over the next few days 206 1111 and that could be yours and they go quickly don't they let's take it in turns and see if we can yeah. remember a few of the items we saw <laughs> Get us up. musical instruments yes that's true we saw a rocking horse uh, joe malone smellies that just smell incredible <laughs> joe malone's, i love that mm. uh, we also like i said lots of hampers literally hampers it was a giant leg of ham there it looked yummy books loads of local authors as well as other books that have mm. featured recently from the literary festival yeah and uh, wine again it is the season there's going to be a lot of wine drunk during Christmas. Sounds fantastic. Now, you guys have been doing this for years. What, what's your best tip? Because it gets really popular, doesn't it? Do people sort of leave their bids right to the end? Is there a risk at doing that? What's the best strategy? Wow, I think, no, you really need to get in there as soon as possible. Sure. Uh, the show is in, uh, yeah, exactly. The show is in two parts, so we'll be on at 8 o'clock, then we take a break for the news at 8.30, and we're back at 9 o'clock until 9.30, so whatever didn't get sold in the first part of the show, we'll still be telling you that it's available if it is uh, in the second part. And don't delay. Like, honestly, if you see something and you like it, go for it. Somebody else will be watching and have the same thoughts. Like, I want that. I've had people tell me, I was looking at that item. I was thinking yep. about it. I had a chat with my partner. And when I eventually came to, to bid for it, <laughs> it had been snapped up. So, yeah, definitely, if you see it, take it. Yeah, no purchasing by committee. Like, honestly, if you like it, impulse buy. It's the best sort of impulse buy in a way, really. I know you shouldn't really impulse buy and we shouldn't really promote can, that, but you can for, for this. Yes. Day, and you're raising money for charity. And in a nutshell, it's shopping uh, in your living room. Uh, yeah. You're getting some great bargains and uh, you recommend that everyone watch tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, the, the auction for many years was part of uh, the GBC Open Day night. Now it's got its own program. It has for a while now. It's a warm-up. It's a warm-up to it the is a warm up. You yeah. warm up your credit card, <laughs> keep it out, <laughs> dust true. it down and get ready to phone in with that number, 200 611 and take these items off us. You're seeing it quite blank behind us at the minute. Tomorrow yeah. this set is going to look completely different, mm. just jam-packed full of beautifully arranged items that will need a home and help raise funds.